We got Titan Thor. He will be battling up against T-Rex. And this is a name I wanted to highlight because I did reach out to him. The sole Hong mm -hmm. Kong representative here in the Tekken Online Challenge for Philippines and East Asia. And I'm excited to witness his Eddie. And he actually had a message that he wanted to give out. And he goes, uh, this is him. And I quote, I'm not the best in Hong Kong, but I will do my best to mm -hmm. represent the community. I'm an Eddie loyalist mm -hmm. and I will continue to believe in him. So let's dance. Mm -hmm. And one of his uh, one of his idols is actually John Ding, so that's a lot of influence on his Eddie also. And Poch, I just want to point out the fact that he said that he's not even the best in Hong Kong. I mm. think we've heard that before uh, in terms of Pakistan <laughs> from uh, from yeah. Arslan that he's not even the best in Pakistan. So I wonder who it is. I wonder who uh, who mm -hmm. else out there are killers in Hong Kong. And the thing is, he went through a rough bracket to get here. So if he's not the best, then he can go through fierce competition like Gold Standard and some of the other known names here in the Philippines to get to here. He did uh, uh, in, in the previous online Masters for Tekken Online Challenge for Philippines and East Asia. He was at the winner's side with his Eddie. Uh, I'm excited to see uh, him represent Hong Kong and that region. Mm -hmm. So, and him being a loyalist to Eddie, um, you know, we're going to see two loyalists duke it out. It's going to be an Eddie versus Feng Wei match. Mm -hmm. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, T-Rex. You've seen his face. Now you're going to see his skills later on. And uh, yeah, Poch, he started on Tekken 6. What, which Tekken did you start on? <laughs> Actually, I started like, in Tekken 2, but super casually. I think it was like mm. uh, Tekken... Uh, yeah, I just kept playing it in and out. And I was really into the lore and all that. So yeah, Tekken 6, I would have to say I kind of... Well, I was playing that on PSP. <laughs> I think a lot of people in the Philippines also had it on PSP. And then when Tag came in, uh, yeah, I, I kind of I wasn't as present as I was. But you know, Tekken Six is a pretty good foundation here. And also, funny story, the way he got his name, I actually asked, "Why is your name T Rex?" And then he goes, "Actually, his name is Trevor. His original IGN uh -huh. used to be Trevor One Eight Six in online games, mm. but it's not a popular name in Hong Kong. But some player apparently typed in Trex, as in T R E X." <laughs> And All right, I'm gonna keep T-Rex. So it was kind of a happy accident, and now he's a known player here at the Techno Online Challenge. You know, I thought for I thought uh, if it were up to me, I would have thought he was a Miguel main, because uh, no, of like, the name, or a but... Jin main, right? Yeah, <laughs> or you Jin, fight me on right? my range, bro. <laughs> Stand in front of me, a range zero. And let's, let's throw hands. <laughs> I'm gonna keep swinging my arms, and if you get hit, that's your fault. <laughs> Because you're in front of me, bro. That's all right. But he is he is an Eddie main. Uh, and, you know, we, we've actually seen, um, well, I would say in, in Southeast Asia, you know, a shout out to Freaky also. He did show his loyalty to this character as well. And I think there was that uh, discussion about loyalty versus tier list in, in, in recent uh, months and all that. And I love that, you know, at TRX being one of the loyalists out there with Titan Thor, they're going to be duking it out. Um, you know, Titan Thor is a little warmed up in this match, but... Uh, I was really impressed with how he was able to utilize that Eddie in, in the online mm -hmm. uh, Masters. Yeah, Titanor, we've seen a little bit of how uh, he showcased to us how he plays. And for T-Rex, we really, us Filipinos, we don't know much about this guy. So uh, the being a loyalist that he is, it makes people want to root for him also. Because uh, we know that we know for a fact that Eddie isn't the strongest character. But mm -hmm. if in the right hands, he can be a dangerous character. Mm -hmm. Especially with the, if, if you're able to play defensively, utilize his excellent backdash and whip punishment game. I think the best way for Titan Thor to approach this is to keep him from uh, backdashing and just try to exploit the early, the not so good sidestep that Eddie has. Um, if we look at um, the, the who is who of who we went through, uh, TRX actually went through uh, Bakal Nation, he went to Gold Standard mm. in decisive fashions, mind you. It was, it was those, mm. both those matches and known players of the Tekken scene here in the Philippines, he both got 2 0 against them. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to get into the match, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your patience. And now we're going to see some good Tekken action coming our way in this best of three. Once again, Titan Thor versus T Rex. Now we're going to the Abandoned Temple, another oddly shaped stage, but wall carry has to be on point if you guys want to be able to exploit the real estate of this stage. Uh, it's quite large. Um, as Pico would say, it's kind of an egg shape, uh, but yeah, we're going to have to find, uh, find the momentum here. Um, at least we could probably see the uh, excellent backdash that Eddie is going to be displaying. Here we have the tourist mm -hmm. view of uh, the Abandoned Temple, and now we're about to head into the match. 
All right, so Titan Thor wants to start things strong with his aggression, trying to poke him out. But T-Rex, again, like every Eddie player that we see, he backdashes but gets caught by the whiff punish. Mm -hmm. You see him trying to just go for those sidestep options from Eddie, but Titan Thor realizing, all right, it's my turn to swing the hammer, gets the grab once again. They switch sides, and Titan Thor displaying his signature aggression. He's been on a roll with that back turn throw, and it catches a lot of people off guard. So Titan Thor might uh, be able to utilize that more, especially against T Rex. Mm -hmm. Especially, yeah, especially if the conditioning is on point for Titan Thor, right? And now gets the float out of T Rex. Couldn't get the conversion, but goes for the rising three. Titan Thor now just keeping us on the right side of the stage. Oh, there it is again. Titan Thor so wild right now. And T-Rex has not been able to dish out some aggression of his own. Titan Thor, mm -hmm. decisive two rounds up. Mm -hmm. Can't catch a break. And now we saw that T-Rex was trying to go for those slippery kicks. Titan Thor catching a whiff of that and goes for that low parry. You see the Titan Thor again. Signature, just aggression, keeps on pressing the momentum. Low tantrums to the low sweep. And T-Rex, no room to breathe here. Does have rage, but oh my god. Pulls for the rage art. Oh, what? the cameraman. Oh my god. That was insane. Someone someone call the cameraman. <laughs> what the what the hell was what that? Was that? <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, again, guys. Teleporting this is... in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the potential of Titan Thor when he gets to do his own thing is crazy good. Sky is the limit for this guy in terms of creativity. T-Rex struggled so much in that round that he might have to go for a stage select here. Again, he's mm -hmm. a character loyalist and he will stay with the Eddie. And so, uh, infinite stage might be the factor here. Just get away from that aggression mm -hmm. and all that unpredictability. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think... T-Rex is actually getting a dose of what um, what Titan Thor's like true strength is and that's momentum, mm -hmm. unpredictability and constant in your face uh, action and just pokes, right? You saw that he was kind of going with the low tantrums then goes for a counter hit sweep and just um, I would say he was kind of struggling and he kind of drowned in, in, in the offensive pace that Titan Thor was uh, putting in front of him. So now I think he needs to take this time to try and recuperate and try to understand what options he can do try to create more distance and as you mentioned yeah i agree he may, might go for an infinite stage but mind you kid that abandoned temple was a huge stage like titan thor was able to push all the way uh to the to the wall yeah for sure and let's see what the decision is for t-rex and it looks like we are gonna go to the infinite stage here uh Infinite Azure number two aesthetically pleasing i like the stage a lot and t-rex might want to uh be at his own pace here because Titan Thor was super oppressive with his own. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find out in just a bit if this will pay off for them. Um, again, yeah, he needs to create that distance. Titan Thor wants to be a range zero, goes for the Sabaki once again. It seems like it might be a little deja vu. Nice block on the low, and T Rex finally getting a huge launch out of this uh, scramble here. Mm -hmm. The first combo that we've seen from T-Rex, but this time he gets low parry again. Titan Thor does not want to give away any of the uh, breathing room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice grab to the low tantrums again. Sho low shoulder. Oh my god, to the Tiger Claw. And we see the Titan Thor still maintaining and not giving T-Rex any room to breathe. Mm -hmm. oh, Titan Thor down back four, catches him again, T-Rex. Receives a lot of damage here. 10 seconds in. Okay, key chart set up. What's it gonna be? Oh my Whoa, god. Oh, climbing dragons. Again, yeah, him risking that means a lot that he's so confident in his offense. And T-Rex still kind of struggling. Again, gets hit, caught by the Sabaki and Titan Thor. Two rounds straight T-Rex here. We're gonna have to change something up for him to stay alive here. Oh my god, Titan Thor still swinging the hammer here. Another key charge setup in front of his face. T-Rex going for the relax oh. and another low parry on the side of Titan Thor. Mm -hmm. Titan Thor goes to the OK combo again. T-Rex has to make the right guess. Tantrums being thrown out by Titan Thor. And there it is. It looks like it is going to be a 2-0 for Titan Thor. T-Rex, unfortunate showing here, but he will have another chance later on today. Mm-hmm. Wow, so Titan Thor, you know, not starting things off super well uh, originally, but man, he was able to make a comeback happen. So uh, congrats to Titan Thor, but you know what? You still shout outs to T-Rex. Again, this could be just the adjustment phase of, uh, mm -hmm. of, of his offense. So we will see him in just a bit. But yeah, Titan Thor, man, when, 
I think we just saw like a highlight reel of what he can display. And uh, shout out to the Pat Cervantes. It's about Sabaki. Sabaki? I'm sorry. I haven't pronounced it right. But that yeah. um, <laughs> that counter that he does. Uh, my, my bad for mispronouncing that. So mm. big shout outs to you. Uh, Titan Thor, that was one of his offensive tools. Like he really just stole the turns away from, uh, t- uh, from uh, T-Rex there. Mm-hmm, for sure. And yeah, that was uh, a bit of an iffy start for T-Rex. Again, guys, he will have another chance to show his, showcase his skills later on. But Titan Thor looked way too strong in that match. He wanted to get revenge uh, on the match that, against RGN. So let's see. Uh, Potch, tell me, what is the next match going to be? Uh, we still got to wait for it, but it seems like it's going to be AK. Um, I'm, I'm, AK will be coming in. We all know him. We all love him. He's got that fresh new cut. He's not long hair AK mm-hmm. anymore. He's, he's, he's not meditating in the mountains anymore. He's here. He's the first ranked uh, participant and his favorite food apparently is crabs. I did not know that. And <laughs> which player do you respect? I don't have one. Ooh, man. That's, I think Yo. he respects everyone, to be honest. He respects yeah, exactly. everyone. I think if you, if you take this out of context, you might think, what? No, but if you meet AK, he's like the nicest guy. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty interesting mm. because AK respects mm. everyone, and he just tries to play a heel here. 